VCS is playing a vital role in actively contributing to the development of skills and capacity building towards the creation of a cyber army. The continuous professional development certification ensures that IT professionals are always up to date with latest development in the field of ICT, and hence CPD is a key element in this process. With this role, I wish to convey my heartfelt thanks on behalf of the ECS Motion section to all our partners, including the regional office, the panel of judges, directors of schools, and the ECS to enable us to contribute in our mission in transforming our country into an intelligent island. The Mauritius section is a pool of volunteers who work as a team to make each activity a success. Everything is meticulously worked upon and improved every year. As chairperson of the BCS Mauritius section, I need to recognize the contribution of my board members who are helping our section on a voluntary basis. It is such a pleasure to work alongside young and energetic minds who dream of bringing the Mauritius section to a new level. I thank all of them to, set, to be such a wonderful team and complete one. Before ending, I wish to thank somebody, a board member, a friend, and a teacher, who has always provided this enriching support to the Mauritius Mauritius section during the last 15 years, and please no one other than our regional manager, Iqbal. Thank you, Iqbal, for your support. And also, a big thank to all our board members who have contributed much in the, for the last 15 years. In fact, it is an immense pleasure for me to congratulate all participants of various levels who have dedicated their precious time in participating in this IT award. And we'd like to welcome new contestants for this prestigious award next year. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your kind attention. Thank you. Thank you. This year's celebrating 60 years and brief of how this is started from Iban. Before I start, I would like to present my apologies to those who attended the graduation ceremony in the community because I'm going to repeat a few things. But because most of the people here in the audience are going to present the graduation, so it's good to know how BCS started. I gave you a brief of how BCS started in Mauritius. Let's see how it started to really in the world. We are in 1954. IBM introduces the first calculating machine that use solid-state transistors. IBM commercializes its first IBM 650 computer. IBM publishes the first version of Fortran. Great people were born in 1954. Great things happened in 1954, but unfortunately, Alan Turing was murdered in 1954. Three years later, the London Computer Group merged with an association of scientists and the British Computer Society Limited was created. The IT environment 60 years ago was totally different from what it is today. But what BCS stood 60 years back and what it is today is the same. And it is making IT good for society. We are lucky to celebrate the down jubilee of BCS today. Among us, Paul Martinenko, 
whether who was the vice president and technical executive for IBM in Europe, retired from that industry in, nine, in August 2016, but joined in 1970. He had a variety of technical, professional, management, and executive positions across IBM. He was the IBM IT specialist in UK and Europe. Today, Paul is the kingpin in the celebration of 60 years of this year. We met in March this year in London, and when I was introduced to Paul, I was not introduced, he was not introduced to me as a president in waiting, but he was introduced to me as an architect for the 60 years of this year. It gives me great pleasure to welcome Paul in Mauritius. Invite the architect of 60 years celebration for BCS to address us. Well, Minister, to, to the invited guest today, 60 years is a long time. Um, we celebrated a little bit of past. The thing about our industry is always looking forward. It's always looking forward. It's a global industry. 60 years ago, there'd be nobody in this room. 60 years ago, there'd be nobody in London. There were just, at the time, about 600 programmers worldwide. Tiny, tiny number. But today, a programmer anywhere in the world can make a difference. Can make a difference for their family, can make a difference for their society, can make a difference for the world. I genuinely don't see another industry which has that opportunity for people who are joining. And I commend Mauritius for its development of its youth, for the development of its people as an intelligent island. The opportunity is fantastic. 60 years, we've spent time really just making the back office work, making sales ledgers, making payroll, making online transaction processes like booking airline tickets, things like that. Where we stand today is on the verge of something new. Something which will make society so much better, based on massive amounts of data, based on new algorithms for deep learning, for artificial intelligence, and based on the cloud. In 60 years' time, maybe 10 years' time, maybe 15 years' time, we will look back on today and we will see our systems, our software, standing shoulder to shoulder doctors. Helping doctors give good results for patients. Standing shoulder to shoulder with lawyers, helping lawyers provide the best outcomes. Standing shoulder to shoulder with policemen, helping protect the lives of everyone here. Today we look back, today we look to what's happening in Mauritius today with a superb set of software vendors, with a superb set of opportunities, with a chance to play on the world stage. It's a meritocracy. The software industry runs the world. It's great to be here. It's great to celebrate with Vic Barnes and our minister and the team. Um, BCS is about making IT good for society. It's about professionalism. Professionalism is, has a long history in many other industries, whether it's in engineering, whether it's in electrical engineering, civil engineering, whether it's in law, whether it's in medicine. It's about doing the right thing. It's about following best practice. It's about sharing. It's about trying to do the best you can. It's about being a professional. Following a code of conduct. We haven't got there yet in our industry. The opportunity for us is to do that, and, and we should. 
The role of the BCS is to help people anywhere in the world become professional. Know the skills that the, the people teach. Know how to engage and create new systems, but to be professional about it. The reason? Because when that system is sitting next to the doctor, it better be right. It better be right every single day. The same sitting next to the lawyer. That requires a professional team. So I'm delighted to be here this evening to celebrate the past of the, uh, the BCS, but to look forward to the future. To the full future of Mauritius as a leader in IT, where IT really helps create one society which is a good society. And tonight we will celebrate, we will celebrate people and we will celebrate in the industry in Mauritius. And I've been looking forward to this and I'm very pleased to be here. I'm very grateful that you're doing it. So the team, Honourable Minister, all of you here, thank you very much. And I look forward to a great evening. Thank you. Mauritius of today is poised to offer IT services and to make IT as the main pillar of the economy. There is no service on earth today which can claim to exist without information technology. And Mauritian governments, past or present, have rightly invested in this domain to make services be efficient, be it financial, legal or medical. Just think of any profession, no one can exist without IT. Only IT professionals do not need any other professional skills. The IT profession is the root of all professions. Honorable Minister of Justice, we are proud to let you know that BCS Mauritius section has nearly 1,000 members participating in the division of governments which are all focusing towards a digital Mauritius. There are certain presumptions in Mauritius that gender gap in the domain of IT is wider than any other profession. Let me assure everyone present here that BCS is a solid example of an institution where this kind of presumption has no place. The number of ladies as BCS president and the number of ladies who have received their qualifications today at the MGI during the graduation ceremony confirms that BCS is the body which really empowers us. Ladies and bridges the so-called gender gap in the digital world. Keeping this same line, I am glad to call on the stage Mrs. Teresa Martinenko, Mrs. Uma Bikari, and Mrs. Aisha Bulaki. A bouquet will be offered to the ladies. And now it gives me great pleasure to invite Honourable Minister Manish Govin to address us. Good evening. 
evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for inviting me. First of all, this is what I want to say. Thank you for inviting me to such a distinguished uh, society. Uh, congratulations to all of you who will be receiving your awards tonight. I want to thank uh, the society as a whole and particularly the Mauritius section for being a very strong pillar in the structure of information technology. The uh, making IT good for society uh, says it all and government is obviously embracing IT to make not only government but Mauritius as a whole, more open and certainly more transparent. IT is enabling, as you say here on, on the, the, the podium here, enabling the information society. What government is doing is we are enabling a transparent government. How do we do it? We started at least by uh, launching the citizen support portal. It brings government to the people and it brings the citizens comments and complaints and questions to government. At the touch of your laptop or your smartphone you can access your government and you can put questions about projects in your region or status of your application for your license. That happens only through information technology. And I can assure you that it is not it was not only launched but it is being monitored weekly at the highest level of government so that we make the citizen support portal work. Perhaps as we will confirm we should now uh, double our efforts into bringing information technology in the judicial part of uh, state business. I think it's a bit lacking <laughs> to speed up, probably with artificial intelligence later on, as you said, Paul. But we don't want to replace the judge with it. <laughs> uh, I want to congratulate the society, Gerald, and again, particularly the virtual section, for the excellence that you have displayed over the past years here. Uh, you are all volunteers, I have heard. Uh, this makes it even more noble in what you're doing, in the sharing, in the dissemination of knowledge. It helps not only governments but citizens keep up with, through the knowledge that you disseminate. It helps the country be on the world sea. You know, we, we have always been an open country. We have been connected. Previously, we used to be connected. Our society has been connected to the world through languages. Being bilingual in the first years of the independence has greatly helped the country achieve what it has. It's through communication through English and French and Asian languages as well. But today the connectivity is beyond language. It is the universal language of IT. And you are again uh, a strong pillar in this structure and for that we have to thank you. And we have to encourage you in the part that you have adopted. Uh, congratulations once again to all of you. I don't want you to keep uh, you waiting, and I do, especially I'm standing right between the award winners and the shield, so I better stop. Uh, thank you once again for having me amongst you. Okay. Thank you, Honorable Minister. Ladies and gentlemen, about the 60 years of PCS, Mauritius section has found it big to implant its milestone and to make the celebration international. We wanted people to see IT 
from an artistic perspective. This is why we have organized poster competitions, both at primary and secondary levels. Entries from various educational institutions will see, and we are glad to honor the three finalists from each category. I'm pleased to invite Mr. Pradeep Kunjal, the head of the panel of juries, to comment on the competition, the entries, and the <coughs> assessment, and to declare the three finalists. Mr. Pradeep. Honorable Mr. Manish Lubin, eminent personalities of PCS International. Mr. Iqbal Blaki, Regional Manager, PCS Mauritius, distinguished guests, dear participants and parents, ladies and gentlemen, I feel much honored today to be associated with the Darwin Jubilee celebration of PCS. 60 years of global commitment in the promotion of IT industry. What a fantastic journey to make IT good for society. I think you all deserve a very good round of applause. In my capacity as chairman of the panel jury setup for the coaster competition organized by BCS Mauritius, I have the privilege and duty tonight to present the winners. Before doing so, let me remind you that the competition was addressed to two levels of students, the primary student, uh, level, uh, students and the secondary level students. The response from both levels was widespread across the country. Participants from 40 primary schools sent their entries and from secondary schools, we got 78 submissions. We were amazed by the degree of imagination and creativity. At primary level, we had more free expression paintings than posters, and works presented were rich in ideas which showed an excellent awareness of IT matters and its role. At secondary level, proposals were more focused, competent, and we as judges, jury members of juries, we had a tough time to choose the best entries. On the overall, we were delighted with the level of maturity, vitality and suitability of ideas, and the level of technical and artistic skills. And I now have much pleasure to announce the three finalists at the primary level. They are, namely, Jogia Disha, Mogen Magen Diren and Suamba Sitashi. <laughs> and the three finalists at secondary level are Naim Zakaria Zipozi, Adriana Gebert, and Jafadrel Norina. Thank you, Lady Linda. Dr. Kundro, I will request you to remain on stage. I will invite Mrs. Uma Bikari to offer a gift to Mr. Kundro as a token of appreciation from BCS. Thank you, Mr. 
from Java. Thank you, Ivan. We shall now proceed with the prize giving for the poster competition. The winners will be accompanied by the head of the school for the prize on the stage. Poster competition for primary school level. I invite Mr. Vimesh Faku on the stage to do the honor, please. Starting with the third prize. The third prize goes to Sawamba Sidishi from Fuji Sack Government School. Sidashi will be accompanied by Head Master of School. Congratulations to Sandra Sikashi. <laughs> Gift will be offered to Sikashi Shiel to head of master. Head of mistress. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Faku. Thank you, Tisha. Thank you, Headmistress. And now for the second prize, I invite Mrs. Lina Pamsi Paul of Elite Business School on stage to do the honor, please. So the second prize goes to Mugel Magendiren from Upper Sami Sokapaju Government School. The headmaster is not present today. So the gift will be for. Thank you, thank you, Mrs. Sitor. Thank you, Madam Yan. Now I will invite Mr. Konai, Permanent Secretary of the Public Service Commission and Disciplined Forces Service Commission on stage. To do the honor. Mr. is present. I think he's not here. So I'll call Dr. Sirko on stage, please, to do the honor. Goes to Jogia Deshna uh, from Upper Sami Sokapadu Government School. So we're starting with the third prize, which goes to Fauzi Zakaria of New Eton College. Fauzi is going to be accompanied by the rector of the college.
The gift will be offered to Fauzi and the shield will be offered to the rector of the college. Thank you, Fauzi. Thank you, Rector. And now I invite Kali, Mr. Kalikos Nordata Matis Computer Center on the stage to do the honor for the second prize. So the second prize goes to Adriana Gebea of Santa Elena College. She will be accompanied by Mr. Tanya Nunku, Mr. Nunku is the manager of the college. So the manager is absent. Thank you, Adriana. So now I invite Mr. Melvin Smith, BCS International Business Development Manager, on stage to do the honor, please. And now the first prize, which goes to Lumina Jafajal of Queen Elizabeth College. I'll invite our young guest committee member, Mr. Khalid Fowler, to unveil the banner illustrating the winning entry. So now we move on our essay competition. The essay competition was open to all directors of territory and institutions and to all members of BCS in Mauritius. The topic selected was appropriate and relevant to the needs of the country. Internet of Things is a topic that is widely discussed on various platforms. However, there are many interpretations given to this topic from different perspectives. BCS in this institution, which fosters research and promotes the evolution of new ideas and development. One of its functions is to ensure that academia is in line with technology, trends, industry, government needs, and the society. BCS advises the government of UK in all matters related to IT. In this line, we propose the topic to be IOT, Challenges and Opportunities for Mauritius. The entries are meant to be used as sources of inspiration and ideas for both public and private sectors. I have the pleasure to invite Mr. Nawab Bunyaba the head of the panel of judges to comment on this essay competition and express his opinion. Good evening, Honorable Minister, uh, President of uh, BCS, Mayor of Aqua Phoenix, 
Let me also acknowledge uh, Dominic Seblen, Mrs. Dominic Seblen from uh, Rector of uh, Joseph, St. Joseph College. Uh, distinguished uh, guests, all protocols observed. I will try to speak. I will try to give you a very short, short speech. It will not be too long. They say it's better to leave the audience before the audience leaves you. My speech will be like the latest in fashion, long enough to cover the body, short enough to be interesting. I was in the UK in April this year, watching a debate, a live debate on TV, on Internet of Things. When I received an email from my friend Iqbal, and the email made suggestion of uh, essay competition that section is thinking of launching. And coincidentally, he mentioned Internet of Things. So I worked on this title and I modified it to Internet of Things, Challenges and Opportunities for Mauritius. As Internet of Things expands from millions of devices to billions in the next few years, it will have major impacts on infrastructure, industry standards, security and business models throughout the entire IT system. Mauritius forms part of this IT ecosystem. The aim of this essay was to get people think constructively and collectively on the profound impact on our computing and networking systems as well as all the participants in that IT ecosystem. These will shape many opportunities for technology companies, enterprises, developers, investors, and startup entrepreneurs in what some people have referred to as the global nervous system of the future. We were also looking at such challenges as security, trust and privacy, complexity, confusion and integration issues, evolving architectures, protocol walls, and competing standards. Like many evolving IT and networking technologies, the Internet of Things will encounter multiple barriers of to adoption. Traditional inertia, budget priorities, risk aversion, and other factors will prevent some companies from adopting IoT in the near future. The challenges will, uh, will also provide new business opportunities in Mauritius for technology companies, middleware, and the tools and tool developers, system integrators, device builders, and cross-platform integration companies. In this AC competition, we were looking for careful human argumentation, clear structure and personality, and most importantly, we were looking for seriousness of purpose and some solutions for Mauritius. We received quite a lot of entries from students studying for a first degree, and also from postgraduate students, and some were from people who are in who are in gainful employment. While only a handful of entries were of some standard, many were mainly descriptive rather than discussion. Some entry merely merely uh, discussed about the advantages and disadvantages of Internet of Things and thus making complete abstraction of Mauritius. Some of the essays were riddled with typos and misspellings, used clumsy sentences, failed to answer the question, and even employed pompous phrases that were clearly not written by the candidates. In one case, an essay was found to be nowhere near an A-level standard, and was deemed to be the work of a struggling GCS figure. It was crudely structured, poorly written, and almost entirely descriptive. Another one was done for its Americanized uh, version, confused punctuation with sentences and errors of art, of grammar, and expression. Plagiarism was rife in these essays. We do understand that keeping plagiarism at bay is a David and Goliath match, especially when Wikipedia is a click away. Students today have developed a sixth 
sentence. And that is the copy and paste sentence. We are now living in the copy and paste generation. The generation can produce award-winning essays, papers, and dissertations within a time that defies the speed of life. And speed. Before you can even start a cursory analysis of the manual, the student has already highlighted a chunk of text. Right-click and hit copy and paste. Or to be easier, Control C and Control D. This is no different from the impulse to gamble, shop, and Google. Plagiarism can be dangerous and even catastrophic. We should not forget Colin Powell, plagiarize somebody's dissertation and use it to convince you and me that Iraq had amassed massive amounts of weapons of mass destruction. The world is paying the the after the price for it today. But all is not lost. We have received some entries worth mentioning. Some of them do contain clear ideas for the decisions that need to be taken in order to create the necessary infrastructure, legal, social, and educational, that will make our Mauritius IOT ready. One such submission discusses how information uh, IoT will leverage, embrace, extend, and enhance cloud, big data, personal and mobile devices, social networks to provide more granular sensors and devices closer to the edge. I think in a public lecture, because food is a better option, sure. I will now announce the three finalists. These are in alphabetical order. The first name is quite difficult to pronounce because I believe it's not a Mauritian name, it's uh, an African name. So I'm, I'm given to understand that he is not uh, here, he's already flown back. So I am safe of being called names afterwards. So the name is Adegoroy Ulwusigan. This is the first nominee, the first finalist. Second finalist is Johan Gia Madina, and the third one is Ramjon Altaf. And, <laughs> and the winner is, sorry, this is not my cup of tea, I can't take uh, stress, I leave it on Monday to do it. Thank you. Yeah, well, you guys are on stage. Thank you. I invite Mrs. Teresa Martinenko on stage to offer a gift to Nawa as a token of appreciation from BCS. Thank you, Nawa. Thank you, Teresa. Proceed with the prize giving for the essay competition. I will invite Mrs. Dominique Seblin, rector of St. Joseph College, on the stage to do the honor, please. So we start with the third prize, which goes to Ramjan Alkaf. Second prize, which goes to Adegoroy Oluwasegan. He is absent, he is abroad. So we are going to keep the prize and give it up to it. So now I invite Mr. Paul Martin and Co on the stage to do the honor for the first prize. 
Ladies and gentlemen, the first prize goes to Johangia Madina. Thank you, Pearl. Thank you, Madina. Ladies and gentlemen, we have reached the end of the first part of the program, that is the celebration of the 60 years. Now we move on to the annual celebration of the IT Personality Award, which we have made in the ECS IT Industry Award. <coughs> this is the 11th edition. And uh, we are proud that we have been able to make daily, though at a certain time, government tried to copy it. The same from us, we expressed the wish to have a joint collaboration with them. But they do not allow that. And they have stopped. I'm sorry, <laughs> this is plain truth. And I can't keep it. Sorry. IT Awards are customary with BCS. Each year the UK IT Industry Award is a flagship for BCS. The UK IT Industry Awards are the benchmark for outstanding performance throughout the UK com computer industry. Similarly, the BCS IT Industry Award in Mauritius, organized by BCS Mauritius section, started in 2007 when we celebrated the 50 years. Every year, the event focuses on the contribution of individuals, projects, organizations, and technologies that have excelled in the use, development, and deployment during the past 24 year months. This year, to mark the 60 years of BCS, we have included another sector of the Mauritian society which we consider deep for recognition in the implementation of IT for society. We have coupled business with social. After undertaking a detailed assessment by the judges, followed by a refined evaluation, a set of six medals have been produced for the Young IT Pro Professional Award, IT Personal Personality Award, sorry, and the Business and Social IT Innovation Award. Young IT Professional of the Year awarded to an IT professional under the age of 30 or who turns 30 in 2017. In any discipline, who has demonstrated outstanding commitment and achievement in their work and through their quality and professionalism stands out in their organization as a high performer in the application and management of IT. Credit will be given for high achievement early in the career, but those in an apprentice program should enter the IT apprentice category. For the Young IT Professional of the Year, medalists are, in alphabetical order, Miss Lucinda Ejin Nawibab. Lucinda is an IT passionate with experience in the following fields, IT security, development, and education. Her fields of interest are cybersecurity, artificial intelligence, business intelligence, and IoT. As a security consultant, she has worked with private and public sectors in the IT, banking, insurance, commercial, and financial services industries, both in Mauritius and Africa. She has been involved in IT security and forensic 
Business Continuity Management and Data Center Advisory. She has experience in business intelligence and currently works as a computer science educator. The second medalist, Balis Torol, an enthusiastic individual who works in the information technology environment. His field of development of Android development, HTML5, PHP, and Adobe, a mobile tester for Samsung. He is involved with networking, router configuration, and web development. He has to his credit a series of websites with graphic designs. We are pleased to call the medalists on stage. I request Sergio. Sergio, please. So I call the medalists on the stage, please. Lucinda, Edwin, Laubarbe, and Valis Torl. Sergio on the stage, and Richard Tibala. Now we proceed with the IT personality of the year. This is awarded to an individual providing IT service, support, or training to users of IT systems. The winner will demonstrate outstanding achievement and commitment, meeting key objectives for quality customer satisfaction, and delivery of agreed service levels. The individual winning this award should have consistently demonstrated excellence in leadership, innovation, and quality in the use and promotion of IT in organizations or individual. individual. The individual will have delivered tangible benefits to the organization, meeting key objectives for budget, time scales, and service. He must have been operating at level 5 of his SFIE plus framework, and at the managed level of the capacity maturity model. Varsha Bila Binud. Varsha holds a degree in information technology and an MBA in project management. She worked as analyst programmer in the web the department of the Arasmana Group before joining the National Computer Board. She serves as IT support officer and provides second level IT technical support to government's employees. She has also been involved in the ICT Business Idea Competition National Project, of which the BCS Regional Manager was a member of the jury. The objective was to promote IT technopreneurship among startups for better health, education, finance, agriculture, and key government services through the use of technology. The second medalist, Varunda Duman. Varunda Duman, MBCS A32, works as a private IT consultant, and also he is the CIO and head of school of IT at Rushmore Business School. 
He has a vast interest in IT security and cloud computing. He is the ambassador of the Cloud Credential Council for Mauritius. Currently, he is enrolled on his third year PhD in cloud computing. Baron has implemented lots of projects from ERPs to IT security from vendors like Oracle, IBM, and SAP. Baron is also very active at social level and is a member of the Rotary Club of FLAC. The third medalist, Ali Hossein Gopal, currently leading the cybersecurity function at Ecclesia Group. Ali has 11 plus years of professional experience in the field of information, security, and assurance. He has been among the founder members of the Institute of Internal Auditors, Mauritius, and is collaborating at board level for ISACA Mauritius for more than a year. Throughout his career, Ali has worked for PwC and KPMG, where he achieved several professional qualifications, such as FCCA, CIA, CISA, CEH, and CHFI. We are pleased to call all the medalists on stage, please. I request Mr. Bay Buden and MTS Persani to offer the PCS medals to the medalists as a token of recognition of their respective contribution to the IT profession. Now move to the last category, which is business and social IT innovation of the year. This is presented to IT professionals or organizations for demonstrating excellence in their field. Awarded for recovering the mission in the provision of IT service, the winner will be the individual or the organization that has achieved significant success within the past 24 months and can demonstrate high level of satisfaction and benefits to users. Emphasis is laid on service rendered to society by the use of IT. The focus being services rendered to society made by the work of made the work of the jury difficult. Many entries had to be eliminated from the bottom line criteria. We hope that in the future, NGOs will embark on the implementation of ICT when helping the vulnerable population of the Mauritian community. Unfortunately, we have been able to accept only one entry for this competition, and hence, this participant is the medals and the award. The project was a small, a smart classroom to bridge literacy gap. This has been experienced with children and adults coming from disadvantaged background. They created an IT lab with 17 PCs, three 
e beam edge interactive white boards, 22 tablets with headsets, educational applications, Microsoft IT literacy resources, specialist language teaching software. They have developed adult functional literacy through visual, auditory, and kinesthetic learning styles. They have allowed the children, they have allowed literacy gap to be reduced by enabling children to use tablets at the learning center. They have used specialist language teaching software to teach French, English, and the communication technology. Anchor, they have encouraged the culture for reading through ebooks and audio books. I leave now the responsibility to Madhvi to continue with the awards. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, so we have reached the apex of this event, so we're going to announce the winners. I humbly request the Honourable Minister, the President of BCS, Honourable Minister, President of BCS, Mr. Smith, and the Chair of Section to come on stage. So, ladies and gentlemen, it was hard work for the judges to eliminate someone from this restricted list of medalists. No one memories, but ultimately, there must be a winner. So, I will request Mr. Melvin Smith to do the honor to announce the winner for this category. Young IT Personality Award of the year 2017. It goes to and the winner is Resinda Edgina Aruba. The shield will be offered by the Honourable Minister. The shield will be offered by the Honourable Minister. The certificate will be offered by the President of BCS. Congratulations, Congratulations. The second category is the business and social, and I refer again to the entry. Located in the suburb of Portwis, this MQA registered organization offers free classes of Microsoft Digital Literacy IT classes to children aged between 11 and 14, while younger children are offered basic IT literacy sessions using tablets in a smart classroom environment. Some of the applications currently in use are Advanced English Spelling Guru, KidSum, Nest IQ Test, Math for Kids, and Linguascope. I invite Uma Bikarin to do the honor to announce the winner of this category.
and the winner is as well as probably of both lists. We now move on to the IT Professional Award, and I will request Vishal to do the honor to announce the winner for this category. So the winner is Ali Kosen Gopal. President of ECS, this certificate will be offered by the Honorable Minister. First competition and as a competition to come on stage for photo session, please. The winners. Thank you, thank you, Honorable Minister, gentlemen, dear winners, thank you very much. I invite Paul Martin Rico to please move forward on the on the right. We have the 60 year celebration cake, which we invite you to please get the cake. Thank you. 
May I also thank the press, the police, and the management and the staff of municipality of Boga San Jose. The dinner will be served. Uh, just one uh, more item. There will be. One last item which was not in the agenda because we just want to put it public. Mauritius section would like to offer a small gift to our guests from this year. I invite uh, Melvin and Paul to be on stage for a small, very symbolic gift from Mauritius.